Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. In this video series, I am going to talk about mathematics in MATLAB. There are four base topics to be covered in mathematics. First is linear algebra, second is operation on non-linear functions, third is multivariable data and fourth is data analysis. So I will start with using MATLAB for linear algebra. So in this linear algebra, I am going to cover 14 topics. First we will see how to create matrix using built-in function such as Pascal and Magic. Second we are going to take a look at adding and subtracting matrices and will summarize the points to remember while performing addition and subtraction. Third we are going to look into vector product and transpose of vector. Fourth. We will see how to multiply matrix and what conditions to be met before multiplying the matrices. Fifth, we will see how to create identity matrix using function i and see a brief theory of function i. Sixth, we will summarize some well-known properties of matrix just for sake of knowledge. Seventh, we will see what is Kronker product. Eighth, we will look into norms of matrix and vectors. Ninth, we will talk a little about support for multi-threading with linear algebra functions in MATLAB. Tenth, we will look into systems of linear equations. Eleventh, we will look how to find inverse and determinant of a matrix. Twelfth, we will talk about factorization and see LU and QR factorization. Thirteenth, we will see the positive integer power, inverse and fractional powers and many more. 14th, we will see how to get eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So I will start with creating matrices. The MATLAB environment uses the term matrix to indicate a variable containing real or complex numbers arranged in a two-dimensional grid. An array is more generally a vector, matrix or higher dimensional grid of numbers. All arrays in MATLAB are rectangular in the sense that the component vectors along any dimensionals are all the same length. Symbolic math toolbox software extends the capability of MATLAB software to matrices of mathematical expression. MATLAB has dozens of functions that create different kind of matrices. In this video, I will be using two functions to create our matrix. For creating a symmetric matrix, I will use function Pascal. For creating a non-symmetric matrix, I will use function Magic. The first example is symmetric. In linear algebra, symmetric matrix is a matrix whose transpose is equal to matrix itself. The entries of symmetric matrix are symmetric with respect to the main diagonal. So if you see, we have matrix A on the left and transpose of matrix A on the right. So both of them are equal. So we can say matrix A is a symmetric matrix. This brings us to the function Pascal. Pascal function. Pascal function is a built-in function. Pascal of n is the Pascal matrix of order n, a symmetric positive definite matrix with integer entries made up from Pascal's triangle. Its inverse also has integer entries. So when we create matrix using Pascal function, say passing 3 as an input argument, we get a matrix as shown. One can clearly see that the matrix is symmetric matrix. Magic function. Magic function is a built-in function, a magic square function that is an n by n matrix constructed from integers 1 through n raised to power 2 with equal row, column and diagonal sums. This means that the sum of rows, sum of column and sum of diagonals are all the same. Point to note that this function produces valid magic squares for all n greater than 0 except for n equal to 2. Here I have created a 3 by 3 matrix B by passing argument 3 to the function magic. Matrix addition. The addition operation for matrix is similar to that of adding numbers. With only exception that for purpose of addition, the dimension of the participating matrix must match. For example, on left we have a matrix A, a Pascal matrix with dimension 3 and matrix B, a magic matrix with dimension 3. So we are able to add them as both have the same dimension. Say for example, if we have a mismatch of dimension, 
we will see an error as shown on the right side. Matrix subtraction. Similar to addition, there is subtraction operator where obviously we subtract the element. The rules for subtraction are similar. The dimension of the participating matrix must match for the subtraction to take place. Again, if dimensions are not matched, the MATLAB will throw an error as shown on the right side. Vector, product and transpose. Vectors are the matrix having only columns or rows. As most of us know, a row vector and a column vector can be multiplied if the length is same for both of them. The result is either a scalar, the inner product, or a matrix, the outer product. So the example here, I have defined a column vector u and a row vector v. Multiplying u and v with u in front does an outer product that generates a matrix that is shown on the left side. Similarly, multiplying u and v with v in forefront does an inner product that generates a scalar as shown on the right side. Transpose is also performed on vectors. So it should come as no surprise that transpose of a row vector is a column vector and transpose of a column vector is a row vector. So on the left, I have transposed a column vector that becomes a row vector and on the right, I have transposed a row vector that becomes a column vector. I want to highlight few points, few known points about the vector product. It is a known fact that while performing multiplying operator on vector that is x into y, the result is invalid in cases when a both x and y are column vector and b both x and y are row vector. So in case both are same vector like say column vector then the operation x transpose into y and y transpose into x produces the same scalar. This is quite frequently used thing and is commonly known as inner product, scalar product and dot product. One can get more details regarding vector products from various sources available on the internet. For a complex vector on matrix Z, the quantity Z transpose not only transposes the vector on matrix but also converts each complex element to its complex conjugate. That is, the sign of the imaginary part of each complex element changes. So, as it is evident from the example shown, transpose operation on a complex matrix converts each complex element to its complex conjugate. That is, the sign of the imaginary part is changed. As you can see, the sign of 1 plus 2i becomes 1 minus 2i, that of 2 plus 3i becomes 2 minus 3i, that of 4 plus 5i becomes 4 minus 5i, and minus 6 minus 9i becomes minus 6 plus 9i. Let's take another example. So we have 1 plus 2i, 2 plus 3i and 4 plus 5i in the first row and 4 minus 5i, 2 minus 8i and minus 6 minus 9i in the second row. We have two transpose for a complex element matrix. First is the complex conjugated transpose that is the normal transpose that is used denoted by z transpose. We get a 3 by 2 matrix with values as 1 minus 2i, 2 minus 3i, 4 minus 5i and so on. Second is complex unconjugated transpose that is denoted by dot transpose. So in the third line you can see I have used z dot transport that does a transpose but does not change the sign of the imaginary part. So there is a difference between z transport and z dot transpose that is z dot transpose does not change the sign of the imaginary part. Multiplying matrices. Multiplication of matrices is defined in a way that reflects the composition of the underlying linear transformation and allows compact representation of system of simultaneous linear equations. The matrix product C is equal to AB is defined when the column dimensions of A is equal to the row dimension of the B or when one of them is scalar. So if A is M by P and B is P by N then their product C is M by N. The code snippet shows how the product can actually be defined using MATLAB for loops, colon notation and vector dot products. So as you can see I defined a matrix A as Pascal of 3, B as magic 3 and then I did a for loop multiplying A into B and storing that them in C. This is a very well known formula. MATLAB uses a single asterisk to denote matrix multiplication. 
so instead of writing that whole for loop that is equivalent to multiplying matrices as shown in line number 3 point to remember is matrix multiplication is not commutative ab is usually not equal to ba as is evident from the code in line 3 we are multiplying matrix a and matrix b and we are getting an answer and in line 4 we are multiplying matrix b and matrix a and we are getting an another answer these two answer does not match identity matrix identity matrix is the one having ones on the main diagonal and zero elsewhere these matrix have property that ai is equal to a and ia is equal to a whenever the dimensions are compatible identity matrix is like the number one of matrix world like we do 2 into 1 we get 2 3 into 1 we get 3 similarly when we multiply a matrix with the identity matrix we get the matrix itself in the original version of MATLAB MATLAB could not use capital I for this purpose because it earlier MATLAB did not distinguish between uppercase and lowercase character and I small i was already reserved as subscript for complex unit so an English pun was introduced the function i e y e m of n returns an m by n rectangular identity matrix and i of n returns an n by n square identity matrix now properties of matrix properties of addition there are four properties of addition for a matrix that is commutative that is a plus b is equal to b plus a then second is associative that is a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c then there is additive identity where there is a unique m cross n matrix o with a plus o equal to a and additive inverse identity that is a plus b is equal to o properties of multiplication multiplication is associative that is a into bc is equal to ab into c it is multiplication is also distributive that is a b plus c is equal to a b plus a c and a plus b c is equal to a c plus b c there is multiplication has a multiplicative identity means there exist unique matrices i of m and i of n with i of m a is equal to a of i n is equal to a basically i a is equal to a i is equal to a then scalar multiplication let r and s be real numbers and a and b be matrices then r of s a is equal to r s of a and r plus s a is equal to r a plus s a and r a plus b is equal to r a plus r b and a r b is equal to r a b which is equal to r a b properties of transpose of matrix let r be a real number and a and b be matrices then a transpose transpose is a that is obvious a plus b transpose is equal to a transpose plus b transpose then we have a b transpose is equal to b transpose a transpose and r a transpose is equal to r a transpose i'm going to stop here and conclude this video this is a part one of linear algebra in the next part we are going to look into knocker tensor products and vector and matrix norms and some other stuff so till then please stay tuned subscribe and thanks for watching